yes. KWWL! Yeah. Yeah. Greetings to you all. I welcome you once again to this wonderful, inspiring, and educating children's show, Kitty's Word with Lola. That is showing on this beautiful and wonderful television station, Western Spring Television Channel 190 DCT. I am super elated this moment because it's festive period, it's holiday period, and all that we have to do as children is just to woo, enjoy our ourselves, watch the TV, play games, hang out with our friends. I mean, nothing so serious to do. But before then, let me ask, how are you doing? How are you today? Are you feeling fantastic? And I hope that Hamilton is not having its toll on you. So let me ask you, how are you doing today? Are you fine? Are you fantastic? I know you are. Thank you so much for joining today's episode of Kitty's Word with Lola. I mean, a million thanks to you because you're always there, you're always watching. And this is a program that is for everybody, for children, for teenagers, for daddies, for mommies. Everyone will enjoy the program. Just like you know, we have different segments on this show. We have the teaching segment where Lola teaches Trust me, today's teaching is going to be fantastic because I'm going to be giving you some tips to enjoy this Christmas and the New Year holiday. Aside that, we also have the storytelling segment or the guest segment. Today, our guest is going to be Papa Johnny. I hope you remember him. Do you remember Papa Johnny? Yeah, yeah. He's going to be telling us another amazing story today. And after that, we're going to be having you know that time where we have our games that game segment is whoo, always wonderful it's always interesting and i look forward to the kind of game that we are playing today you will enjoy it okay now i want to you to please welcome my wonderful audience today they are from oak groove academy a school that is in Oshogbo, Ilobu, Osho State. Please put your hands together for yourself. Wow, look at them. They're amazing. Their uniform, their look. I mean, even their energy is amazing. Put your hands together one more time for yourself. Thank you so much for coming today. And I'm sure you will have a great time with us on the show today. So, yes, if you're just joining us, it's Kira's Word with Lola and Trust me, you will be entertained, you will be inspired, and you will be educated on the show today. So we'll go on a quick break right now, and once I return, I'm going to be teaching, and then we'll take it off from there. Do not change that channel. You know what we do? We fasten our seat belt because it's time to go. Don't change the channel. Kitty's Word with Lola will be right back. Word. It's still Kitty's Word with Lola, and in case you're just joining us, this is an educating, inspiring, and entertaining children and teenagers program that shows right here on Western Spring Television Channel 190 DTT. So, yes, like I said earlier, I'm going to be teaching you, giving you some tips that will make you enjoy your holiday. By the way, you know the song that we always sing when holiday is approaching we'll go holiday is coming holiday is coming now my morning bell, boom, 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 no more tingle. you know so now i have been sleeping i don't know about you but i've been sleeping longer staying longer in bed because i don't need to get up to do any school runs i want to believe you're also sleeping and enjoying yourself but you see Huh. Most children do not like holidays because they will always think that parents, their parents will be sending them too many hair ads and they will not be able to buy all the sweets or the chocolates. But do you know that holiday is a beautiful time that you can use to bond with your family? Family that says everything. If you go here, you go there, 
anyone will still have to come back to their family. And that is why I want to share some tips that I will be practicing during this holiday with you so that you also can have a memorable holiday. Holiday is a beautiful time, like I said, to bond with your family and also to take a break from your normal everyday routine. You know, doing the same thing every day, every month, every week can become so boring and it can make you feel less energetic and excited about life. But when it is holiday, you get to do things differently. And so, how do you enjoy your holiday? Let me share the first one with you. Number one, make plans. Yes, make plans for your holiday. Many of you as children have not decided anything you're going to do during this break. We're going to be having two weeks or about three weeks break from school. So sit down, take a pen and then plan. You can take your pencil too. Yes. And then write, okay, what are the things that I love to do during this holiday? Write them down. You can do this with your parents. You can do this with your siblings and you can also do it on your own. So what are the things you like to do? Okay. I would love to bake. I would love to make pancakes. I would love to, maybe there's something that you also want to learn to do. You can write everything down. Once you have written it down, take it to an adult in your family or take it to your parents and show them, mommy, daddy, these are the things I love to do during this festive holiday. Now, when you make plans, it helps you to know exactly what to do. You won't wake up and say, ah, what will I do today now? No, you will make your plans. And then once your plans are approved, because Maybe you have written something that daddy and mommy cannot approve of. You know you can't do such things. But when you make your plans, you write them down and you show daddy and mommy, they'll tell you, ah, sorry, daughter, sorry, son, you cannot do this. Or they'll say, oh, sorry, okay, fine, you can do this, you can do this. So once your plans are approved, that is step number one, all right? So you know exactly what to do. If you plan what you want to do during your holiday, it makes you to maximize to use your holiday in such a memorable way so that when you get back to school in january and they're asking you okay so what did you do over the holiday you're not be saying i did not do anything no that would not be good so children make plan and write down what and what you would like to do during the holiday you can also ask your friends to give you ideas what do you think i can do in case you are stuck and you're not sure about what to do that's the first thing Number two way to enjoy your holiday is don't make everything to be television and games. There are quite a number of other games that you can engage in that does not involve screen. You can play some games like Scrabble. You can play games like chess. You can even play games like general knowledge, quiz, competition with your brothers. Yes, who says that is boring? There are quite a number of games also that you can play as a family or with your siblings that will be memorable, that you will not forget in a hurry. You can play what? You can play Ludo, quite a number of games. Don't just get stuck to your TV, television from morning till evening. I mean, I'm not saying you should miss such a program as this, but there should be time for everything. So engage in games, engage in quiz, engage in competitions that is rewarded. So the reward can be, oh, one extra meat on your meal. The reward can be, okay, uh, maybe a drink from the freezer or from the fridge. You can just come up with creative games. This way, when you play this kind of game that is not just about screen or television, it will help you to love one another in your family and it will be such a memorable one. Another clue about your holiday tip that you know will help you have a memorable holiday is to converse, communicate, write down or make plans to call on the phone people that you have not spoken with in a while. This is the time to remember your family members, extended family members. Have phone conversations with them. Go to mommy. Mommy, can I speak with uncle so-so? Oh, daddy, can I speak with auntie so-so-so? All right. Just make sure you are reaching your extended family. 
this might be the only time that many of us children will even say hello to our uncles or our auntie so don't let this holiday go by without you reaching out and communicating with your extended family members and lastly how to make a remarkable memorable holiday how make sure that you rest well you see many of us children believe that ah i will I'll not sleep i will sleep maybe two o'clock in the morning i will not sleep early i will sleep 12 o'clock well as much as that is good and sounds interesting you don't want to mess with your health you need at least eight hours of sleep as a child yes yes you heard that right you need at least how many hours eight hours of sleep so don't let anything interrupt that okay fine you have during the day to do whatever pleases you but please i beseech you manage your health very well make sure you eat well don't play off so much that you'll forget about your food mommy and will serve your food you won't eat it until afternoon don't do that and take lots of water this is dry season and amazon period like you all know and our body will need lots of water so that we can stay hydrated so please as you are spending your holiday make sure you drink lots of water make sure you eat well and of course maintain personal hygiene many children at this time of the year do not bathe some children will not even bathe for two days and their parents would have gone to work they'll come back they wouldn't know so please make sure you maintain good hygiene and ensure you are clean trim your fingernails have your hair cut and make sure you wear clean clothes so these are ways i am going to have a memorable holiday and i have shared them with you i hope you have picked one or two things that you find useful to have a memorable holiday all right haven't told that let's move on to the next segment on the show which is our guest segment like i said we're going to have johnny johnny join us today to tell us a wonderful story children are you ready are you sure yes. very good don't go anywhere we will be right back fans globally but we are losing our wildlife to illegal bushmeat and this is not funny at all if we continue this way we we'll risk losing all our animals and leaving nothing behind for the generations to come tell your family and friends not to buy or sell illegal bushmeat because protecting nature protects us all Born Jeremiah Oyeni Obafemi on March 6, 1909. Obafemi Awolowo was a prime architect of Nigeria's independence and most consummate advocate of free education and social welfare in Africa's most populous nation. Erudite politician, thinker and philosopher, Awo was fondly addressed by associates and political colleagues, brought his unique attributes to bear on governance in the defunct western region he administered as leader of government business and the premier between 1955 and 1958. Obafemi Awolowo's premiership witnessed pioneering in multi-sectoral policy initiatives and execution. The western region under his administration paraded several enviable records. First television station in Africa, first real estate in Nigeria, first high-rise building in Nigeria, first modern sports stadium in Nigeria, first agricultural settlement in Nigeria, first modern civil service secretariat in Nigeria, and first industrial estate in Nigeria. His face is on 100 Naira denomination as a mark of honor for his distinguished services to his country. Western Spring Television identifies Obafemi Awolowo as a major character in history. Our music is gaining popularity across
across the world. But we are losing our wildlife here at home. Pangolins are threatened by the illegal bushmeat trade. They are sold and consumed in our cities, and their scales are used for traditional medicines. Just as we have preserved our culture, let us protect our pangolins. Let us say no to illegal bushmeat, because protecting nature protects us all. Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying, staying tuned to the program Kitties Work with Lola. Right about now, we've got Papa Johnny Jenny in the studio and he's ready to tell us an amazing story. Papa Johnny, how are you today? Yes, Lola. I'm doing good. Oh, yeah. I hope you're not couching all the cold and cutter and cough that the season has brought. Somehow, I'm, oh. I'm catching oh, a cold somehow. I'm so sorry to I'm hear sneezing that. sneezing a little. Okay, but what can one do? Ah. Yeah, the, the best thing I think we can do for now is to do our regular protection okay. by using our nose masks when oh, we're going out because yeah. of the dust. So yeah. the dust is massive. And here in the uh, in Oshun State, there's a lot of construction going, yes. road construction going. So, so the, dust... the dust are match. Mm, so okay. I think that's the major thing we need to do for now. Okay, how about boosting our immunity? Yeah, by taking by lots taking of fruits, a lot of fruit, um, and especially vitamin C enriched fruits yes. like your orange um pineapple, pineapple you know that can help build our immune system and yeah. we'll be able to resist all the <laughs> all right sorry about that okay thank you so much for joining us on the show today Papa johnny is known for his amazing and wonderful moral field story and today he's going to be telling us another exciting moral field story over to you papa johnny okay children like usual I try as much as I can to, you know, to create a kind of story that you out there will get one or two out of it. So yeah. today, um, because of the, the season we have, I will tie to my story a, the, the price for gifting. Mm, the yeah. price for gifting. Yeah, there's a price for gifting. Wow. So that is where I'm going to tie to my story uh, today. So it's about a girl, a young girl, who is called Rebecca. Rebecca mm -hmm. is a girl that, you know, was trained, was taught how to give. Okay. So giving is part of what, you know, you grew, she grew up knowing about. So you find herself in a community okay. whereby most of the people, most of the young girls in the community, they don't really believe in sharing their things. Mm. So you can see how hard is going to be for Rebecca to mingle with people like that. Mm. So Rebecca come into that community and it was, she was doing a normal life. When she has two pairs of shoes, two set of pairs of shoes, mm. she will, and you see somebody who don't even have, they're going out for a party, she will lend one out wow. and use one. When she's given four apple, she would like kind of, ah, you sure. have one, you wow. have one, let's teach, share this thing to two. And it got to an extent. The, 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 the girls in that community, they label him Mugu. Like, uh. yeah, they label, they label her Mugu. Uh, uh, see, it's not wise enough. Oh, that's the meaning. That's the meaning of Mugu. Oh, oh somebody that is wise. not wise, not wise or wise. smart. So okay. when they have their own things, they will go into their own hiding place, like in their house, and they will consume it. Uh. Oh, no. Wow. But whenever Rebecca has anything, hmm. she will bring it out of her grandma's house hmm. and, you know, share with, with people, them. you know, Good. to the extent that when her mother came in from the city, she, her mother called her that, I'll be coming to the city, what should I get for you? She give a list of things wow. for herself and her friends. Oh. And her mother said, oh, you've got a new friend there? Say yes. Hmm. So when her mother was coming down to the village, he got a lot of goodies. Wow. And she gave it to Rebecca. Rebecca went to her friend's house one after the other, mm -hmm. was giving, was giving. So one of her friends, of her new friend, that the girl is called Shadiat. Shadiat observed her way of life is entirely different from theirs. How they behave. So she now walked up to Rebecca, Rebecca. and to Rebecca that see the way you 
give out your things to people. People here, they felt you are not wise. They, some of them have even more than you, mm. but they are hiding it. They said, no, it can't be like that. I'm trying to show to them that giving is just loving. Mm. So when you give, you are caring that you are loving. Wow. People will love you. When, so Shadia was saying, I see, I like the way you are behaving. I really want to do the same thing. But the kind of girls that I have here, when I try to do that, they will call me names. Mm. And to the surprise of Shadia, the baker told her, do you think I don't know that they are calling me names? Do you think that I don't know they are calling me Do you mm. think that I don't know that they are calling me I, have, I, I don't have sense? Do you think I know all this? But what they are saying, I will not let that change the person I have. Mm. And, and you, I see that you have a good art. Wow. If you like, continue doing what they are doing. See, there is, I believe there's something my mother used to tell me, that there's always a reward for somebody who do good. Mm. And that reward is what me I'm waiting for. Wow. So when Shadia heard this, he went straight home and asked her mother, Mom, is it true that somebody mm. who do good always, is there a price for her? Her mother has said, yes, there is. If you do good, there's a price for doing good. Mm. If you do bad, there's a price for doing bad. Mm. But I'm begging you as my daughter to always do good. Good. Because when you do bad, one day, the bad will wait for you mm. at the door of your success. Wow. And they will deny you your success or mm. your help. So this thing gets to Shadia and decided like, okay, I don't care what people say. Like what Rebecca said, I don't care what people say. I will start doing good. Mm. So from that day on, Rebecca joined, I mean, uh, Shadia joined, joined Rebecca, Rebecca and they are both doing what they believe it's good that is given so they give Sharing. they help rebecca will say we'll call shadia we'll call the rest of the friend let's go uh, my mama need help mm. her clothes that let's is an go old woman i hold woman in, in that community mm. they will say okay tomorrow let's all go tomorrow by tomorrow you will see all of them will have disappeared ah. so you will find them rebecca and shadia will go around those houses and they will not find these children so Rebecca and Shadia will go to that old woman, Mama Agba's place. They will have Mama Agba in all our house chores. Mama Agba was happy. Mm. She was so happy. So things go on, on and like that, like that. Mm. Rebecca and Shadia, they form an alliance and they help people out in the community. Mm. And the rest ladies, the rest girls, they will call them names. Oh. But they have their own money or their own things. They will consume it all alone. Oh. Hmm. So Yagba, the first mm. child of Yagba one day, called. It has been a long time she has been to the village. Mm. So she called from America and mm. told Yagba that she will be, he will be coming home very soon, very soon. That when he comes home, Mamagba will be happy Mama Gba will see him again and things like that. Mama Gba was so happy. So whenever Shadiat and Rebecca comes to Mama Gba, Mama Gba will sit, sat them down. She will tell them stories, tell them life lessons, lessons mm. how to go about day-to-day -day activities in life, how to be good. And, so they were happy. So these are what Mama Gba will tell Kole mm. Asan. Wow. That there are two girls in this community that they help me, they keep me in company, they help me do my house chores, they do this and that. But my bad that I've always been lonely before mm. now started coming lively. Mm. She now I mean, plays, happier. she walks around with those kids wow. and the things like that. So the day comes, only my son came from United State, and when he, she came around, I mean, he came around. He met Rebecca and Sadia the way Mama said they used to come around. He met them. He said, oh, you guys are in holiday. He said, yes, we are in holiday. And we felt that since we are in holiday, we are not going anywhere. Mm. We should always come around and play with Mama Agba mm. and help Mama Agba. Yeah. was so happy that at least they helped Mama Agba in uh, as chores. Mm. So, Mama Gba have already complained to Kule that 
she's not feeling okay. Mm -hmm. So she they bring, they brought a, a, a medical and a medical expert. She has the woman was there before. She tested my mag and reported this issue to Kule. And when Kule came around, she called the doctor again, and the doctor came around and tested my mag And to her surprise, nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong. Really? And he was like. What drugs are you using? Say, ah, I've not been using drug. Hmm. The only thing is that I exercise more. These little kids, they take me around the village. Wow. They play with me. I tell them story. We laugh. Hmm. And the doctor said, yeah, truly, happiness is a cure Emergency. to a lot of, hmm. a lot of uh, uh, helmet. Yes. And Kule was so much happy that these young girls, they have this idea that when they help, People, people will be happy, better. you know. And Kule said, "See, I need to see your parent. Wow! And if I can see your parent, I want what I want to do. I can tell your parent." Uh -huh. And the the two girls, yes, they took sure. Kule yes, and man. Mama to their parent. Wow. And when they got to their parent, they, the Kule came out and said, "They've helped me to save my mother from dying. Hmm. They've helped me to keep my mother at hmm. a house." Clean. Hmm. So now it's not my turn to return what they've done to me and my mother. Hmm. He said, Will you permit me to take these children along with me when I'm wow. going back to the United States? Wow. Their school fee, their upkeep, their everything will be on me. Wow. Their mother was like, Really? This is a dream that they have been hustling to like hmm. make it sure happened. that this thing happened. Now it come on a platter of gold. Before you know it, the whole community, the whole village have heard about village it. Heard about it. Wow. And everybody we are rolling. Kata, 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 kata. I can they want to come and see if this thing is true or not. Mm. And when they got to Rebecca and Sadia House, they found out that it was true. Rebecca have started arranging her things to go along hey. with Kole to United States. Wow. And then I started lobbying. Ah, I said, Me too. Then grandma now told them, see, these are the things I used to tell you people, mm. that whatever you do, there's a price tag on everything. Mm. This thing is accumulating to the day it will be full and you will be paid back, back in your own mm. coin. Rebecca and Sadia went to United States with Kule alongside Mama Agba and they started their education there. They were happy. Their more parents were happy. Yes, their parents were relieved wow. from the school fee things, feeding and things mm, like that. Wow. And that was how Rebecca and Sadia ripped the their fruit of their mm. good work. So that comes to the end of my story. But the moral of my story is never believe that whatever you do out there goes in vain. No, mm. there's always a price for whatever, either good or bad. So it's not left for you children to choose which one do you want to do, do you want to do what kind of result do you want to get or what kind of gift do you want to get at the end of the day. Is it the bad one or the good one? So mm. it's left for you. Thank you all. Wow. Put your hands together for Papa Johnny. Thank you so much for that wonderful and amazing story. Papa Johnny, ha, I wish for everything. I hope I'm good enough. I've done good enough for somebody to just take me to America. Uh, so, yeah, uh, time will tell. <laughs> okay. But that was a wonderful story. Thank you so much. I really learned a lot. Now, Papa Johnny, let me call your mind back to this. You know, this is festive period. Yes. And this is the time we're approaching the new year. And it's a time that many people um, will be buying things for themselves, buying clothes, buying, you know, beautiful things for themselves. And then no matter what we think, there are people in our community that cannot afford, afford it. That really desire, that cannot, they're not even able to eat, you know, three school meal. And you know, you see some family, some children wasting food, and yet there are people that are going on hungry. Now, I want to say this, that in addition to what you have said of our journey, this is a time to share. Yeah. This is a time to give to other people. How do you say you love people without giving them? How do you say you care without sharing? Some of you will even have, you know, families, cousins, and friends come around. Do you even share your toys? Oh, no, 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 they can't come to my room. No, 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 she can't come to my bed. No, she can't touch my stuff. I'm sure um, 
uh, Rebecca Sad and Sadiat, Sadiat and Rebecca were not like that. Mm -hmm. They are always sharing. They are always sharing. They are always kind to people. I mean, some of us children don't even want to run chores for our parents, let alone let our do, neighbors. Outside. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. We should be kind. We should be helpful. When you see your mom doing something, oh, mom, how can I help? When you see somebody, your brother, your sister, lend a hand of help to them. Don't just watch them like, ah, am I the one that did it? Am I the one that put it there? You can always help. You can always help. You can always share. The more we share, they say, the more, the we, more have. we have. So learn from the story today. Learn how Rebecca and Sadia. For some of you, you might not even be traveling abroad because some of you might be like, hey, I don't want to leave my daddy and mommy. But you see, there are several other benefits that can come from you being helpful. I'm sure, Johnny, Johnny, that our children, after listening to the story, will be kind, yeah. will be more helpful at home, and they would learn to do something that is good. And then now, let, let me add one thing to it. Okay, Johnny. You people watching me at home and people on my podium here, there's one shoe, there's one cloth hanging in your wardrobe hmm. that you're not using. It's even shorted for you. Hmm. Ah, Why don't look for Johnny, somebody? Johnny, no, no. Why don't look for somebody and just but give that person know, Johnny, decision? Johnny, sometimes we don't yeah. like to pass me. <laughs> you know, we grow. Exactly. Every child wants to grow up to be like their mommy and their daddy. Uh -huh. But part of the thing that comes with that growth is that some of your shoes, the precious dear shoes, the ones you like most, they're not going to fit you anymore. anymore. So why are you keeping why them you keeping in your there? wardrobe? Give ah, it out to somebody. Mommy sometimes we even say, let's give. No, 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 no I no, like no. that clothes, but you cannot wear it again. Uh, shall I leave it? Shall I leave it? It is not good. Share. Yeah. I mean, see, what I said just now is something that I used to do. Confession time. I mean, I like, I, like, I love red color. And so most times, December, you know, I'll declutter, I'll look at my clothes. Okay, which clothes have I not worn more than once this year? It means that yeah, it's not, I don't it's not, really don't need, need it. it. Okay, so there are clothes that I've not even worn at all, all through this day. You've not even touched it. You've not even had any reason to wear it. And I've not gone naked, you know. So it means that I have more than enough. So when it's December period, I'll just declutter. Okay, this one, this one, and I'll give it out to people. But you don't know that. I found out that most of my red clothes i don't give don't them give out, out. <laughs> because i love red and so i'll be keeping them and some of them are not my size anymore so people i just have to like okay okay i'll give them out i'll give them out what is it god has been blessing me you know when you give out god will give you back he might not give you the same, same thing, thing that you have given out but you will always give back imagine a word where you don't even share mm. The way God has made the word, you always give out something and you take something. something even in. for animals, even for plants. If we we breathe, breathe in, we oxygen, breathe in, we breathe out carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide. Imagine somebody that says, no, I don't want to give out my breath. I just want to be breathing, breathing in, in alone. Children, you can you try collapse. that? Just breathing <laughs> in alone. In fact, people who do that, most time in movies are people that want to die. They will, like, they will not breathe out. So... You don't want to just kill yourself. No, you don't want to get stopped. So children, let's learn to give. The more we give, the happier mm -hmm. we become. Okay. Thank you so much, Papa Johnny, for that amazing story. Welcome, now, man. children, the show has not ended. We are going right to the next segment, and it's going to be game, game, game. So don't change that channel, because it is well with Lola. We'll be right back. Nigeria is one of the few places on earth where you can still find gorillas. Thousands of tourists come to see them in countries like Rwanda and Uganda every year, creating jobs and generating millions of dollars. But in Nigeria, our gorillas are threatened by habitat loss and traps set for illegal bushmeat. But we can earn money from gorilla tourism if we protect them. Please say no to illegal bushmeat. Because protecting nature protects us all.
as a boy, I grew up with light in the mighty land. What's cute? Harmless and depends on its mother for food and protection. Well, me of course, but also a shy little creature called the pangolin. Hundreds of thousands of pangolins are hunted and killed every year just for their meat and scales. If we continue this way, the pangolins will soon disappear. We can't allow this to happen. Tell your families and friends to say no to illegal bush meat from pangolins and other protected animals. Keep them wild. Keep us safe. Welcome to you. Thank you for keeping still with us, for standing by us in this wonderful program, on this wonderful program. So right now, it's the time to play our games. And my friends are right here, standing beside me to my right and to my left, because they want to play these amazing games with me. Okay, so I'm going to give them the privilege to introduce themselves. They're going to tell us their name, their class. We know the name of your school already. By the way, let me mention one more time that my audience today are from Oak Grove Academy in Ilobu, Oshibosha State. And so you're going to be telling us your name and your class. So are you ready? Okay, so let everybody meet you. Tell us your name and your class. My name is Amos Miracle. I am Bexy Five. Okay, Amos Miracle. Yes, pass out the microphone. What's my your name? My name is Adete Eshe Sophia. I am Bexy Sophia, thank you so much for coming. Your name and your class. My name is Eniola Basit. I am in JS1 class. Wow, senior. Okay. And My you... name is Aulu Eniola. I am in JS1. Very good. Okay, so you've heard them right now. Um, they're going to be playing this game. Ah, are you are you are you shy already? Are you are you afraid? No, don't be afraid. The game is very interesting. So, yes, yeah, some of you must have seen this game before, but it's so easy. You all know your ABC, right? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, so the first game we're going to be playing um, is alphabet game. So you are going to, I'm going to call an alphabet and I will tell you to give me words starting with that alphabet. So, for instance, let me say letter T, okay? We all know letter T. Okay, so give me one word starting with letter T. A word that is starting with letter T, yes? Table, that's one. Another one. Tiger, another one. Tennis, another one. Table, all right? So now that, those are words beginning with letter T. So now this time around, you are not going to be telling me um, the letter, the words begin with that letter one by one. It is just one person at a time that will tell us five words having that letter so if i say give us five words beginning with letter you just start to tell us now those of you sitting in the audience um those of you sitting here you're going to be counting down so we're going to be counting from 10 to zero so we'll go 10. now immediately i give them the microphone to tell us you start counting down how will you count down 10 9 8 Seven, six, five. So when the, 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 the contestant is saying the words, you will keep counting down. When you get to zero, the person will have to stop. So if you have not said more than two words, it means you are going to be out of the game. So do you like that game? Are you ready? Come on. Okay. So we're going to start from him, from here. He's going to be telling us words beginning with a particular letter. So are you ready? Come on, you are not even answering. Yeah, the contestant. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Do you even have power to do this game? See my own power. Show me your own power. Yay. Hey, whoa, very good. Put your hands together for them, everybody. Okay, so we're going to start now. Let's pass the microphone to him. Okay. Um, these things, things, we play the alphabet game. Tell us five things or five words beginning with letter b let's start counting 10 let's b bag bat 
Buckets. Basket. Oh, how many words were you able to say? Four words. Put your hands together for him. Oh, he almost said five. Four. Hey, so it means if you are not able to say hmm, more than four, you will be out of this game. So let's see who will say the least words. So over to her. Um, she's going to be telling us words beginning with letter F. Let's go. Letter F. Let's go. Finish. Say it. Yeah, just count. Oh my, she was just counting with us. Seven. Don't count. You're supposed to say a word. She was only able to say one word, which is what? Fish. Put her hands together for her. Okay, so he was able to say four words. She said one word. Well, let's see who is going to be out of the game. Are you ready? Okay, so you're going to be giving us five words beginning with letter. D. Dog. 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 You said dog before. I said dog. Dog. Oh, he was able to say how many words? Three words. Put your hands together for him. So we have four, one, three. Hey, who is going to leave this game? Are you ready? Are you ready? Please speak up. Speak into yes. the microphone. Put the mic yes. in your mouth. Very good. Okay, give us five words beginning with letter J. Let's go. Dog. Nine. Eight. Dog. Jack. Jack. Uh huh. Oh, how many words was she able to say? Two. Put your hands together for her. So, who is going to leave us in this game? Her? Yes. Put your hands together for her. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, so, we're going to continue this game. Come closer. Are you ready? Are you sure? Okay. So, should we start from here this time around? So, you hold the microphone. All right. Give us words. Give us words. Give us five words beginning with letter C. Let's go. Nine. Oh, how many words? Three words. Put your hands together for her. Hey, you guys, you better step it up. Okay? So the next contestant here is ready. He'll be giving us five words. Five words beginning with letter A. Apple. Ten, nine, eight, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, 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 you said that after we have counted down. So he was only able to say one word. Put your hands together for him. Okay, let's see if he will be able to say more. Okay, give us five words. Beginning with letter P. Letter P. Quickly, let's go. Bot. Bat. How many was he able to say? Three. Three. Put your hands together for him. So, who is going to leave the game? Him. Please put your hands together for him. Wow. So we have two champions left. Hey, who is going to win? Who can guess? Who is going to win? Who can guess? Is it her? If you, if you are guessing, she will win the game. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. If you are guessing, you think she will win the game. Let me see your hand. One, two. Okay, put your hands down. If you think he's going to win the game, let me see your hand. Hey, see people are rooting for you already. So let's see. Let him start. Okay, now you are going to give us five words beginning with letter G. Let's go. Good. Good. Ah, what happened? 
people put their hands together for him. He was only able to say two words. How many words? Two words. Hey, you have stand a chance to win. You better try and let's see. Okay, so have the microphone. Give us five words. Five words beginning with letter E. Let's go. Leg. Elephant. Elephant. Uh, 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 why are you counting like that? Five, Five four, three, two, one. one. Ah, she was also only able to say to put it together for her. Hey, so he was only able to say how many? Two. You are also able to say how many? So what is happening? Now it's a tie. Should we play one more round? One more round. Okay, so this particular game we're going to play to find our winner will be about numbers. Is that fine? So we're going to be counted in twos. The person that misses the number will be out of the game. Are you ready? So when you say two, four, huh, six, eight, so we count in twos like that. Are you ready? Okay, so this time around, move closer so that you can stand, yeah, with the microphone. Please move here. Don't worry, not too close. Yeah. Okay, so are you ready? Two. So you count faster. Don't Four. worry. Okay, don't worry. I'll be passing the microphone. So are you ready? We are counting in twos. So anybody that misses it will be out of the game and we'll have our winner. Are you ready? So one, two, go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-six. If you are slow, you are out. Thirty. 32, 34, 36, 38. Ah, somebody is slowing down. One more time. If you slow down, you'll be out of the game. Now, 38, uh huh? 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Ah, who stuttered? She stuttered too many times. Please put your hands together for her. All right, thank you. You may go to your seat. And so, who is our winner? Who is our winner? Uh-uh, come on. I said, who is our winner? Please put your hands together for him. All right, thank you so much for being amazing today. Okay, who else wants to play a game with me? One more set, one more game. Uh, okay, I really wish, I think our time is far, far spent. Thank you so much. Don't worry, darling. So don't worry, darling. I'm so sorry. Time is really not on our side. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Kitty's Word with Lola. Please put your hands together one more time for yourself, my wonderful learners from all Doom Academy. Thank you so much for coming today. You have been amazing. I mean, they were just going two, four, six, eight. You think it's that easy? You come and join me on the show. Thank you so much. Those of you that have viewed and are watching today's episode of Kiddies World with Lola. It's been an amazing time. We've had wonderful story segment. We've learned how to enjoy our holiday. And of course, the game was also excited. Don't forget to also watch us on our social media on YouTube. We are Western Spring Television, Channel 190. And of course, on Star Times, you can just tune in and watch us. All right, we will be on your screen some other time. And in the meantime, we want to say thank you for joining us on today's episode of Kiddies World with Lola. I'm going to leave you with this. Please ensure that you make your holiday memorable and stay healthy. Thank you and God bless you. Lola, kids. <laughs>